What is this person? Probably like a really shitty life. Nope, they're f oh my god. Look at that. That is fucking terrible. Oh man, that hurts my eyes. Are they on team up? Fuck it. I'm just gonna go in. If they follow me, they follow me. Dude, come the fuck on. Why? Fuck this guy. He's a nerd. I hate you. I'm switching realms or some shit. Can't do that. Never mind. All right. Hey there, guys. Godly Seafood here. Today, we're going to continue on with our role play of an Asian man. No, I'm just kidding. I looked at that. I was I went to go do like a full out view and realized my eyes were like super squinted. I don't understand why they're not open, but whatever. Uh, but anyway, back at it again with the myth playthrough. Got the Eclipse Tower over there. I'll be going there soon. Uh, the Brood Mother. I think the story so far is uh, left off. Got the Moon Crown. Need to put it on her and do something. She said go in the throne room for some reason. This is going to be the Brood Mother fight that is actually difficult because she continuously spawns minions. Not to mention the fact that she just fucking sucks. Spellbinder, let the power of the Moon's Crown flow over me and wash away this crass and brutal form. Nah. I am transforming. You know, you're not. Spellbinder, I am restored, and yet the blood pounds beneath my antennae. Yeah, cool. I can't see you because your final form has awakened before it was supposed to. Spellbinder. Do you feel that cold wind blowing? No, there are no windows in here. Young wizard, I told you I knew what you were up to. You wish to save the bees? <laughs> How? When you can't even save yourself. Come face me like a real man, you bitch. Witness a fraction of the power of the song of creation. Ooh, that's from Azteca. Spellbinder, what have you done to me? A fever courses through my veins, and a hunger burns within my mind. You know, I can appreciate what they were going for, but the game engine has just not lasted that well. Like, it, it just hasn't held up, considering it has everything spawning in at the same time. I must admit, I admire the Broodmother's purity. A survivor. Unclouded by conscience, remorse, or delusions of morality. Yeah, so that's yeah, fair. I hope her poison lets you live long enough to experience a truly painful and wretched death. Yeah, it won't. She's a bit of a pushover. But yeah, uh, like I was saying, she has the ability to really mess me up. I'm going to do some of that. Uh, you know, I might as well use some of those i don't i almost like never use those but also i just have a ton but her whole gimmick is she will summon a whole bunch of minions and they'll fight me and they'll just keep spawning even after i kill the queen they will just keep spawning so i definitely want this in there i might throw in two of these we'll start off with life pips i don't think i'll need that uh I think I'll go for AOE's galore because I, I won't really need much else. So yeah, we'll do that. And that should be pretty much it. Actually, let's go to uh, balance just so I can have my balance bit saved for last. But yeah, I'll show the whole entirety of this fight. It's not that difficult. It doesn't help that I don't go first, but it's not that difficult. Um, I get if I do this. Boom. Boom. All right. Nothing that I wanted. Uh, yeah, it's going to faint stack her up. She'll probably hit me with like an e freed or something. And then like next round, she'll summon her minions. Something like that. Maybe. Yep, there it is. And then those guys also have the ability to use raw, which is mostly why I said this fight may suck. I'm actually going to throw that on there. I'm pretty sure, yeah, it's a treasure card. It should stack.
Man, farming that, uh, <clears throat> that mysterious tower of the Lost Pages event was really good for me as far as treasure card collecting. Like, I got a ton of sharpens and potent traps. Like, if, uh, if you're ever needing that for crafting and the Five Pages event is out, just go do that. It'll save you more time than farming the bosses in Azteca that typically drop potents. Plus, you'll be able to go for, like, bone mounts and robes that don't drop. But whatever. Still fucking salty about that, but it is what it is. Jade gear, as I'm finding out now, is actually farmable, so there's no reason for me to farm that dungeon in the first place. Uh, and get rid of one of those. I think I will switch to life, and we'll blade up. Yeah, what is this one? Uh, he, she starts spawning myth ones, I thought. Oh, hey, there's, there's one of them. One of the raws. Which, again, it's not going to be that big of a deal because I've got a cleanse charm pet I can use three times throughout the fight. Basically, whenever I want. Just not in, you know, immediately after the next use. I have to kind of wait two to three turns, but I got this. It's not going to be that big of a deal. I don't believe that these guys use Earthquake. Let me actually check on that. Wizard 101. Yellow Jacket. Drone. Uh, let's see. Don't need anything there. She's got three of those. I just need... Yeah, I got regular potent. Yeah. So she's basically got all of those. Um, No, that is not the one I wanted. <clears throat> yeah, yellow jacket drone. Uh, found in the Moonclyph's throne room, which is where we are. They have two spells. Sacrifice and natural attack. So the only ones I got to worry about is the Broodmother herself and the Balance one, which, again, is not that big of an issue. Also, I completely forgot I needed to cleanse myself. Kind of going down on health, but it's fine. The hard part is, is that by the time that one like they both spawn in i'm gonna have to like hit again for some reason so we'll do this i'm gonna wait to heal myself so i don't i don't i don't think i'll really die in the next two rounds she would have to they would have to both crit yeah that's two stackable minus 45s by the way Which is why I recommend having a cleanse charm pet. Because if you don't, then you gotta rely on treasure cards. And he's gonna hit me. Rude. It's like, I'm trying to do good and you guys are just being jackasses. Like, why? My little cleanse charm guy. I need to get way more elemental tokens or elemental talent tokens because I'm just not getting any from my pet levels. He's gone. So she's probably going to summon one this round, right? H how is that working? Oh, okay. I guess it's just bugged or something. Um, should be good. So I. I'm going to throw out a heal. Actually, I might throw out like two. Just because I want to... I want to stack up a little bit more, but I also want to be at a point where I know the minions aren't going to spawn. Yeah, because there's one. Uh, Throw that on there. Throw out another heal while I just wait for wait for things to go. Thank God for the new Arch Mastery system. I fucking love it. Now, if we could get a will cast shatter pet, shit like that would never be an issue. Love the fact that I'm not critting these fairies. Like, come on. Why? 
Okay, so he's going to be in this round. He's going to be in next round. I've st still got more time to do this. I can probably hit next if she doesn't e-free me next round. Or, if she, like, if she uses all of her pips, that would be great. Like, throw out a fucking fire dragon. Or that. Uh, let's see, what are you doing? Nothing? Cool. So yeah, I can hit next round and, you know, not be bogged down by the negative debuffs, which is great. And all of the minions will be in attendance, so they'll die, they won't get resummoned. Perfect. Oh, he's cheating himself to death. All right. He didn't summon another one, so yeah. Let's just do this. And fucking take forever, because these guys just want to throw out damage spells. Do I kill him before he heals the boss? I mean, the heal isn't going to matter, but... Okay, cool. He's just dead. But now the real thing is, is a minion going to get summoned anyway? Because I've had that happen to me before. I just can't quite remember what the circumstances were. Let us see. I probably went overkill, but, you know, it's fun to overkill. Yeah, 80,000. Nope, another one doesn't get summoned. Oh, what the fuck? I was swallowed by the shadow. And you have saved my spirit a second time. Yeah, thank you. Also, what the fuck is this tarantula hog? Oh, what? That's super cool. I like that. Dude, if I make a fire, I might use that. Even though it's completely and utterly, like, not optimal. It's super cool. I like that. I didn't... I didn't, uh... Didn't know that was a pet. Or at least I don't remember seeing it any time recently. But anyway, uh, what up, nerd? I saved you. 80,000 80, experience for saving you? Fuck you. Give me more. Quickly, use the moon's crown to force me to shed the Shadow Queen's skin. We couldn't have just done this outside. I doubt Morganth would be willing to, like, come out of the throne room onto the balcony. And then boom. Waifu material. Let's go. Spellbinder, the good you have done this day is invaluable. Eh. So are all my deeds. A great deal of work remains. The yellow jackets are still in the thrall of the Shadow Queen. We must save them. Okay. And by we, you mean me. If we can restore the moon's crown, you could then wrest control of the Eclipse Tower from the Shadow Queen. Okay, so I have to get the get the jewel, fix your crown, and then do the moon thing. Okay. From there, you could unravel her spell over Bastion and her control over my people. You need to locate the crown's missing fragment, a jeweled teardrop called the Moon's Tear. Gluttonous Blotto would know. Why would Gluttonous Blotto know? He's a hideous creature who squats in the golden vault. Squats. Treasures. If anyone has the moon's tear, it is him. If he has it or if he knows who has it, I guarantee you he either has it or somebody like stole it from him. I'm going to leave a mark down and grab some health real quick. And he's going to be somewhere in Bastion, right? Yeah, I'm too lazy to press the pause button, so y'all are going to have to deal with it. But yeah, soon after I do the Eclipse Tower, this whole place will get a whole lot more lively, and then I can talk to all the merchants, and it will unlock some side quests that I will not do. Because I'm not doing a full side quest run. Boom. Oh, he's just been in here. Okay. Just squatting in the burrow or treasury. Hey, look at that. What, what all you got in here? Treasure chest. Gauntlets, jewels, 
chairs. That's, that's really about it, huh? And they didn't put too much effort into that. Hey, those burrower chairs. I I crafted one of those, didn't I? Uh, where is it at? Ornate bur burrower chair. That's yeah. That's not expensive. Yeah, and I'll slit your fucking throat if I don't get it. I will trade it to you if you get me forty-two treasures that I covet, what? scattered far and wide. Eh, what's that? You defeated Cravenly the Hunter and the Baleful Empress and the Brood Mother. The Baleful Empress even need to be mentioned? That was just like some random fucking boss. I, 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 okay, I will tell you, Spellbinder. Don't feed me to the Humongo frogs. Yo, that has extra weight, considering I actually have Humongo frogs. Tell me where it is, or you die. The moon's tear was lost in the Abyssal Cave, in Tyrian Gorge, the blackest pit in Chrysalis. Is it, though? I mean, I feel like later on in the story, there's going to even be an even more blacker pit in Chrysalis. And your wand and leave me be. Ask that cold blood Zaltana how to find the abyssal cave. Cool. I love the fact when I can just walk up to some random fucking scrub and say, hey, I've killed three people, like high ranking people, and they just bow over. Spellbinder, it intrigues me to see you again so soon. Oh, yeah, sure. Whatever. Uh, abyssal cave, please. The Shadow Queen orders us to watch for a wizard from Wizard City. She said this one pains her and disturbs her composure. Does they really? The Shadow Queen offers unimaginable reward for any warlord or servant who brings her the wizard's wand. Or head. Either. Both. So what you're saying is, if I find this wizard, I can just get a free ride to Morganth. All right, well... I Mitt, I can imagine quite a lot. It is unlucky for me, then, that I know only you, Spellbinder, but no wizards. Nice, I like the subtlety there. I assume you delivered the moon's crown to the satisfaction of the Broodmother. News from the apiary has been limited. Eh, you know, she's doing all right. Tell me no more. You search for the Abyssal Cave now? It lies deep within Tyrian Gorge. Speak once again to Captain Katorgerol. I like Captain Katorgerol. He's a funny guy. Hey, Captain, what's cooking? Um, Abyssal Cave. Also, tell me what I smell like. Oh, you stink of roach slime. Roach slime. Oh, my, I didn't even fight that guy. How do I smell like him? Was oh, that the smell of Bastion's traitor? Any luck finding Cornelius? No, pity. Okay. Now why are you back here? The Abyssal Cave. <laughs> you do like to tour the Badlands, don't you? It's very dark in there. Very dark. Uh, how dark could it be? Crystal geodes might light it up nicely if you crack a few and let them loose. My men like to crunch on them. Good for the gizzard. You'll have to rustle the hundred leggers for them. <laughs> Good luck. All right. Um. Oh, these are the myth ones. That'll be easy. All right. That was annoying i had to do like five fights because i didn't collect on two. Oh, you stink of crystal geodes <laughs> actually uh i smell pretty good give me one <laughs> this guy's funny oh, oh i hit the spot reach the abyssal cave you'll have to pass through the milk web gate remember how sticky that stuff is yep and i should still canonically have some left over Ah, the Skyscreamers have a special potion, an unguent, which lets them slip through like slime off a roach's back. Go ask the Skyscreamers to give you a vial of unguent. I'm sure they'll hand it over if you give them good reason, no? No, no they will not. I will have to battle multiple of them. And two fights later, we're done. I got the potion that I apparently couldn't be bothered to get last time for some reason. Stink of unguent. You gotta tell me what's up with that supernatural sense of smell, dude. 
the abyssal cave lies down a narrow path not far past the milkweb gate. Search its inky depths for the moon steer. But beware. Something terrifying lives in black. Cool. All right. Uh, so, I think I'm going to go sell real quick and then I'll get back to this. All right. So, you open the stopper on the vial. What? You pour the unguent all over yourself. It'll really There's nothing here. You hope it gets you through the milk web gate. Ah, the glory of being a wizard. What the fuck? I swear to God, I walked past. Yeah, I, I went to this fucking dungeon the other day, and there was a, a, a thing of webs here. What, what the hell is going on, King's Isle? That's just straight up annoying. Also, this is like right next to the entrance of Fort Rakius. I think. Ew. I'm about Mondays, am I right? Anyway, to the Abyssal Cave. This one is actually a very interesting dungeon because we finally get introduced to the idea of shadow pips, but we don't gain any for, like, a couple more dungeons. Yeah. You crack open the crystal geodes. Oh, that's those things floating in the sky. And you release them to float ahead of you. Yeah, because apparently they couldn't animate that or, you know, have the camera pan over and zoom into that. Chrysal in Chrysalis, they have the camera pan over and zoom and start doing cinematic shit. Like, I wouldn't have been that much to ask. Come on, devs. Anyway, got my level locked, so I'm not going to level up until after the dungeon, hopefully. But I also don't know how much the fucking XP I'm going to get. God damn you, King's Isle. We will not let you pass. What? Servant of Shadow, the fifth column will never forget and never surrender. I feel like this is a very big confusion or a very big amount of confusion going around. I we could just simply talk this out. The Shadow Queen may have destroyed us, but our spirits still oppose her. Good to know. All right, looks like I'm just going to beat them to death real quick, even though they're all technically undead. Hey, they're dead again. They can't take or they can't catch a break. Yeah, obviously. Could have just talked this out. There's no need for fighting. You fight against the Shadow Queen? Yeah, I guess. We took the moon's tear to keep it from the Shadow Queen. We brought it to this terrible place, and it cost us our lives. No kidding. You know, I actually knew somebody who stole a crown that should have been attached to the moon's tear, who did the same exact thing as you guys did i feel like y'all should have collaborated and just gone to the same cave rather than split up like a bunch of fucking idiots and maybe i don't know go to the the easier one that doesn't have the fucking shadow spider in here you may have it with our approval but it lies deeper down stolen from us by what? something ancient and more dangerous well i mean if it's not in your possession then i don't need your fucking approval fuck you shadow fighter if you free our material remains from the webs we would be thankful. Yeah, so the first time I ever played through this, I didn't l l listen to the dialogue, so I didn't know what to do here. And then I came up to this and I was like, whoa, no way. There's an undead mantis housing item I can just pick up. And then nothing happened. And then I realized, oh, I'm just a fucking idiot. <laughs> you untangle the body from the web. It crumbles to dust. But you hear a joyful whisper on the wind. Yay, I'm so glad I died in vain. Just floating up and in midair. Hot, mean, and hungry. Sounds mean and hungry, but I don't know about hot. You know, feel maybe a chill down my spine. Literal chill. Because it's going to be an ice boss. Um, I'm actually going to do this. I'm not going to focus on faints as much. But rather, blading. So, and there's a good reason for that. I'll get to that in a second. But anyway, let's see what we got going on. A dream of light comes here to these plumless depths. A light in the dark. A child under an endless starless sky. A spider that is undead. I was here before the first world was broken. Ever since Grandmother Raven locked the shadows away. Right. Also, look at that spider web in the background. It's a it's a star. That's neat. I am named Atlas Leng, webmaker, 
light drinker, ghost spider. Nice. Is it time to shake off the chains of sleep to stretch my web to the world above to drink deep of the hot, salty blood? Can you, as an undead spirit, drink or physically interact with water or any liquid? A cold chill runs down your spine as you sense a strange, shadowy aura surrounding this one. What kind of magic will he command? At no point at any point in the game has like for a very long time has the subject of magic really mattered i like the fact that they introduced something new here my yeah it looks like this recording is just going to be all fights seriously i'm going to make almost no progress as far as leveling up but uh i don't think i'm going to need my feints actually can i pull a blade no. Alright, fuck you then. Um. Cheese. Alright, how about now? There we go. That was annoying. I didn't want faints because this whole this boss's entire gimmick is Shadow Sentinel. Which Shadow Sentinel is a spell that protects people up to 25% of damage, or I guess bare minimum, 25% of damage. And apparently at no point is that ever, like, convertible. We can't ever utilize that ourselves, which is super annoying, but it is what it is. Like, there, the Gregor fights, uh, there's like a hundred, or what is it, 75% uh, shadow sentinel reduction. I want to say, there, there, I know for a fact that there's at least one fight in the game that has a hundred percent shadow strike reduction, but I can't remember who the fuck it is. Also, these two make a pretty nasty duo. This is a minus 25. He has the potential to use a minus 25. He might be able to use a minus 40, but it's honestly not that big of a deal. I'm not looking that up. I've got cleanses. Well, I had cleanses. Uh, I don't know what I have now, but I've got at least three cleanses. Oh, perfect. Boom, boom actually going to use cleanse charm real quick just because it's like super early on but what i want to do here is blade up a ton because i know for a fact he summons more spiders at some point so i want to blade up a ton because he's going to take massive damage and maybe backlash but i don't know i i feel like this fight is super underwhelming compared to what is required of it like yeah he just threw another one of those on me but he's also got several rounds more left to go before backlash and if he hits me he's just gonna gain more backlash backlash for you it for you guys who don't know is that little orb spinning around him shadow spells are derived from morgan's attempt to like mix astral magics with shadow and i guess grandfather spider must have done the same or there just must have been like, that's just the general nature of shadow magic. But, if you, as you see here, his backlash actually just went down to zero because he's shielded. Anytime you have a shadow spell, they're going to have likes and dislikes. Sentinel, Shadow Sentinel, has a shield like. So anytime you use a ward, uh, you lose backlash. And anytime you hit, you gain backlash. And then anytime you, like, blade or something, it really doesn't matter. But, you know, that, that's just kind of what it is. And these two spiders, these two death spiders, are protected up to 25% of the overall damage I have the physical capability of casting. And so, you know, whenever the shadow spell ends, he starts to take damage, boom. But because he, he lost most of his backlash from shielding once, he only took a little bit. I think it's like 10% of your health, and then it goes up or down, depending on, you know, how much you fuck up. And it's really amazing to get in an omen run where he omen uses shadow sentinel. Oh, omen is the one that has 100. No, no, not omen. I think it's like 75% again. But a uh, very popular boss in this game named omen has the ability to utilize shadow spells or he has a shadow strike minion. That's it. Who casts a, like a 75% shadow strike and. Omen himself will utilize uh, Shadow Strike 
Shadow Sentinel will use, you know, Shadow Sentinel spells. But I've, I've had runs in Omen where he basically fucking kills himself because we did half damage to him and then he just deletes his, his health bar completely because he does all of the dislikes of Shadow Shrike, which I don't even remember what those are. It's probably like, hey, don't shield, don't heal, or something like that. But also, in-game, it's very difficult for players to achieve any meaningful success with shadow spells, like shadow aura spells, which is why they're typically almost never used nowadays. Like, having having a shadow strike that has the ability to use or can, uh, give you 50% pierce and, like, 10 damage is pretty cool. Except for the fact that you take massive damage and nobody ever heals in a team setting almost like you'd have to be in a very good group to even be able to utilize that and even then people would still opt for pierce blades that don't you know damage them directly so that they can use a shadow spell you know with the the shadow pips that they'll gain like these aura spells were really cool in the beginning but they just kind of fall flat on keeping up with whiz like if there, was the, if there was a way to get zero shadow or close to almost like no shadow strike damage or shadow backlash damage, I mean, people would use them probably more reliably. But then again, people also don't know how to use them. The game doesn't make it really clear on how to use them. So people just kind of like, this guy, he'll pro fucking throw out a hit or something or throw out a trap and he'll gain backlash maybe? No? Traps don't affect backlash on Sentinel. That's weird. Oh no, I guess these guys are supposed to be the big death dealers. I don't know that the uh, the other spider actually has the ability to utilize ice spells. I probably could have gotten death immune if he doesn't. But even then, I'm not taking that much damage. Plus, I got like a ton of blades on me. I'm good. I'm going to try and use all my blades, just kind of see what that would be like without most of my feints. Because the interesting thing about, uh, what is it? Shadow Shrike is, or Shadow Sentinel is the 25% damage that uh, is being reduced by all the spiders get taken into the boss, which is why somebody's, you know, using Shadow Shrike just blade up. And if they, if they have a high enough HP pool or health pool, then maybe throw out some traps. But blades are going to do damage to everybody, and then all of that damage collectively is going to go back to the boss, assuming I don't fucking one-shot his ass. It'd be cool if I, like, barely killed him, and then you guys got to see how much damage he's going to get from all the spiders. Oof, I stacked the blade. That's dumb. So, let's see. Yeah, no, the boss is dead. Fuck that boss. I'm at a point where I, I don't even have to play by the rules, really. Like, what the what the devs would have intended, anyway. Yeah, shut the fuck up, you nerd. Go crawl away. In the middle of the ghost spider's web, you find a glowing blue teardrop that radiates with moon magic. Moon magic. This must be the moon's tear. Are all moons, like, celestially compatible? Like, do they all, like, radiate the same energy? Are there some moons that are different in that regard? Young wizard, you overcame an ancient spirit of darkness and hunger. Very well done, if I do say so myself. Speaking about yourself, why the fuck aren't you people helping me? Morganth knows I'm here. The shred is over. Now, you hold a fragment of near-perfect moon magic but you will have to find a way to reforge the moon's crown so it is whole once more who the fuck told you about the moon's crown i don't know anyone who's been in the conversation with the moon's crown maybe uh the zebra shaman dude but even then fuck him no because he, he was only with cravenly the hunter so i don't i don't think anybody was Involved with me finding the moon's tear or the moon's crown. Yeah, no. Whatever. 
back to Captain Kator Jural. My favorite hundred legger, thousand legger, whatever the fuck he is. To the mines. I'm too lazy to like press the pause button. I thought it would be a faster walk and I grossly underestimated. Or I guess overestimated. Underestimated? I don't know. Again with that smell. You need to repair the moon scrub. That kind of thing is beyond my expertise. Ah, I'm more about digging and blowing things up. Yeah, and you're very good at it. Don't ever change. I love you. You know, uh, burrowers used to be very good at glasswork and crystal making. Perhaps you could capture one and interrogate them. Hey, it's actually not a bad idea. Or maybe you could just ask Elazar Fireblade. Why, Grandmother Raven? Why would you do that to me? It's about to have some fucking fun in this goddamn spiral. Cool. All right. So here's our burrower agent that we've kind of not really captured at all. Spellbinder, the tale of your defeat of the brood mother has become legend. Ooh, I need to turn that up. Our people still fight the yellow jackets, but we have heard the bee queen wishes to parlay. Now, what can I help you with? Um. I actually have no fucking idea. Why did I come to you? You need an expert glass shaper. That's Maybe right. Just the fellow. Shihuli is a brilliant artisan, though touch eccentric. Is that right? Shihuli glass shaper has a shop here in Peppergrass Nook. He will do whatever it takes to hurt the Umbra Legion. All right. So, I'm actually not too far off from liberating Bastion, which means I'll be able to do a whole bunch of stuff. All right, let's talk to this guy. Glass crafter, I guess. And who might you be? Oh, I might be. Who, who, who might you be, bitch? Spellbinder, you? I can't see much out of this one good eye, but you certainly don't convey much power or grace. Well, it's probably because you can't fucking see straight. Battle of Bees? I heard something about a stranger helping Dorian Bright Eyes in his valiant efforts. That was you? Really? Yes, and he got killed on his own accord. Thank you very much. What are you pestering me for? You have the moon's crown and need it fixed. Let me see whatever barber you picked up by mistake. Wait, where did you get this? This truly is the moon's crown. Perhaps you are who you say you are. All right, I will help you. You know, it's pretty understandable that you don't trust me just based off my own personal word. I like that. But you'll have to help me. Of course I knew. many of my tools. Blue razors stole my shears, and flame legs took my pot furnace. All right, time to get some shears and pot. Let's go. And boom, I'm done. I got your stuff, old man. Now craft me my fucking ender eye or whatever, whatever the hell it is we were getting. <laughs> not bad. Goddamn right, not bad. Flawless. My tools are not ordinary, as you might have surmised. Good tools are critical, and the moon's crown is a relic of the old times. All right. Because of that, we'll need a special fuel to burn hot enough for us to do our work. Oh, my God. The night flames in Camp Havoc carry dragon beetle pods. I think they chew on them. You'll need to get a handful. Why didn't you tell me to do this, like, before I left? You fucking prick. And boom, we're back yet again. Be careful with those dragon beetle pods. They'll burst into flames if you so much as drop them. So what happens to me when I'm holding them? We have what we need. Haven't done this in a long time. Ooh. Since I received my beauty mark, a gift from the Umbra Legion. He's talking about his eye patch. Normally, my apprentices do the physical labor, but this requires extreme patience and an experienced touch. I'm a fucking grandmaster artisan, I think. I should be capable of putting it. Teardrop on a moon circlet or whatnot. It worked. I never imagined I'd see this day. It'll be a small part of history. Now, what are you going to do with it? I'm gonna give it back to the person 
uh, the Bee Queen. Take it to the Bee Queen? <laughs> I'd heard rumors that she was no longer a monster. You're doing? All right. I trust you. That's pretty cool. See, why can't why can't shit have animations like that? And the moon's crown is gone. But I mean, it makes sense. To Bumbler Town or whatever the fuck it's called. There's a teleporter here. I can just go there. Boom. Not that one. This one. And oh, I'm in a completely wrong area. Oh, wait, no, I have to go straight up. And then after this, I should be going to the Eclipse Tower, actually. I wonder, can I fit that in? I hope so. Spellbinder, I grew worried about you. You've brought the restored moon's crown? I have. Amazing. Spellbinder, the task before us is to take back the Eclipse Tower. It has been under the Shadow Queen's sway for far too long. Yup. If we are successful, we will not only restore Bastion, but deal the Shadow Queen a great blow. I mean, is it really considering restoring Bastion if all of Bastion's inhabitants died like hundreds of years ago? Or were also turned to stone? I mean, I know we undo the stone curse, but it was a long time ago. A lot of people dead. Go to the edge of Celestial Lake and use the moon's crown at the carved relief to summon the moonlight bridge. Ascend to the tower. Address the guardian spirits within and hope they are eager to shed the Shadow Queen's chains. Without their help, we may never triumph. Cool. All right. So if I remember right, the second dungeon is pretty easy. It's the first one I'm personally worried about because of the balance boss that uh, resides within so we shall see how this goes uh yeah you just kind of take this little path down here it's actually really cool i like the little tree growths and whatnot you raise the moon's crown and face the relief mana sparkles across the carving and there's the mana that's pretty cool there's a shimmer and hum, and the moonlight bridge is summoned. It is truly magnificent. Yes, it is. Also, look at that uh, that person right there. I don't know who that is. I don't know if that's one of the people we'll find inside, but she's wearing the moon crown. Check that out. And then you see the little moon phases. Kind of got to line them up, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, let's go fuck up this tower. Man, I love burrower art, like old burrower architecture. It's it's pretty nice. Boom. Who dares come unbidden to the Eclipse Tower? Dominion of the Lady of Spiders, the Dark Woman, the Shadow Queen. I do. I do not know your name, and I see no badge of the Umbra Legion upon you. I am compelled to destroy you for the Shadow Queen. But will you, though? Wait, what is that you bear? The moon's crown? Can it possibly be true? Are you here for some noble purpose? Oh, yeah, that's right. I'm supposed to be liberating this bitch. Yeah, let's let's go with that one. By the new moon, the charms upon me fade in the moonlight. I have little power oh, what? due to the Shadow Queen's corruption. That's bullshit. But I can direct you. Travel up the tower and free Sophia Darkside. She is the true caretaker of this place. Okay, so in the first dungeon, we take care of the caretaker. Um, what is this person? Probably like a really shitty life. Nope, they're f oh my god. Look at that. That is fucking terrible. Oh man, that hurts my eyes. Are they on team up? Fuck it. I'm just gonna go in. If they follow me, they follow me. Yeah, it's fine. I feel bad for that person. I I feel ob obligated to help them. You trespass in the halls of the Eclipse Tower. Your blood will stain the sacred halls of the moon. I'll show them what actual gear looks like. 
102 life resist. Oh man. Okay, so the okay, maybe it's the the second dungeon that is the hardest. And the first one's easy. I don't I don't know. I'll have to see which one has the the balance boss. Oh my god. They summoned a minion. They a fire summoned a minion. For like seven pips. I'm dying. Okay, so um uh, I just fucking jumped in here and the dialogue both spawned and then unspawned. Uh this guy also has Shadow Strike. So yeah. I'm gonna just throw like two of those in there, but th this will be pretty easy. He doesn't debuff, he doesn't shield. The life mouse doesn't seem to do anything. This is going to be a pretty easy fight. This is like an introduction to Shadow Shrike, basically. I don't... I, I guess I'll show a little bit of the fight. Oh my god, why? You have no... Res this person has no resist. I... Fuck it, whatever. Just gonna go. I don't really know what to make of that. Like, they're... There's no reason to do that at all. Like, it's not enchanted, they fizzled, okay, cool. They're basically going to be the sacrificial pawn that I helped bring along for no reason other than to help them move forward with the quest. Seriously, he's about to lose like a quarter of his fucking HP. Eh, more like an eight. Uh, he hasn't used Shadow Strike, so I'm not gonna push that. Just yet. I'll shield, like, next round. Okay, never mind. There, there he goes. Ooh. Look at that. Shadow Strike. If... Oh, shit, you know what? This guy doesn't even have the ability to summon dislikes for Shadow Shrike. Seriously, look at this. Shadow Shrike basically does not like shields or heals, if I remember right. He has... It likes hits, blades, and traps, if I'm not mistaken. So, yeah, this, this guy does not have the ability to gain Backlash. Oh my god, um, let's see, I'm gonna do this because I want to survive. Wait a minute, this guy drops a bronze golem pet? That's pretty cool. And it's not really useful, but it's cool. How much does this do? Well, that, that probably would have done double if I had no resist. Dude, this guy is just going to get the shit beat out of him in the next few rounds. Uh, can't faint, so I got to wait on that. Honestly, I'm just going to blade stack. What is... What, is that a wand hit? It's whatever. Dude, I gotta look at some of these gold key bosses. Like, I, I, uh, I'm looking at it, and some of these guys actually drop crowns gear from packs that's actually worth farming for, it looks like.
What is that? Ooh. 10% uh, What was that? 10% Pierce? I like staying alive. Uh, he doesn't really have the ability to mess me up right now. Oh my god, why? It's like, I, I can't even do anything with this guy. I just gotta wait. Um... Do I have anything? No. Yeah, I'll just pass. Yeah, there's, there's not really a whole lot to say about this fight other than you gain an introduction to Shadow Strike. And it's not even cool. Like, Shadow Strike is one of the most broken spells for enemies. Because King Zhao always pairs enemies with who use Shadow Strike and almost give them no ability to gain backlash by utilizing dislikes. Dude, come the fuck on. Why? Uh... Fuck this person. I shouldn't have bothered to help them. But anyway, like I was saying, Shadow Shrike is pretty broken because every single enemy who utilizes uh, the Shadow Shrike aura spell, they basically are almost never paired with any spells in their deck to trigger dislikes. And dislikes are a huge thing with Shadow Spells because it gains you backlash, which can do massive damage to you or kill you. And yeah, that's that's basically it. That's that's all Shadow Shrike is. Uh, I want to say the only time you'll ever encounter Shadow Shrike is maybe some key bosses like uh, Omen. I can't I can't even think of any off the top of my head. Like it's probably locked to this world, Shadow Shrike. Uh, People, other people probably don't even utilize it in later worlds. Not that I can remember. There are Shadow Strike mobs, but even so, it's you know it's neither here nor there. It doesn't doesn't mean anything they, because they're Shadow Strikes, not Shadow Strike aura using casters. Oh my God, do not waste, do not waste my faints, dude. This has just straight up been annoying. I thought it was going to be easy run. They're just going to sit there and twiddle their thumbs and nope. It's going to be a total piece of shit. It's going to constantly attack the boss fizzle. And then when you need to faint, I'm just going to try to attack the boss again because I'm an idiot and don't know how to play this game. This, this game's been out since 2008, dude. about to die um two faints how many blazes that one two three uh might as well does this global get rid of his shadow strike i bet you it does it does not Ooh, that is interesting Nice. He should be dead. Ooh, I boost on him too. Let's go. And he just fucking yeeted out of existence. Let's go. You? I can't believe I lost to you. You? Seriously? What do you mean seriously? 
At least I can finally see the world once more. After a fashion. I don't understand what that was supposed to mean, but whatever. And this guy is just going to touch that. And look, there's shadow magic swirling in the moon shrine, I guess, for some fucking reason. And then boom, we touch the stone and it's a mouse. Yay. Free after so long, trapped in that form, to whom do I owe my freedom? Ah, the main character. Spellbinder, can you help me restore the moon shrine? The Shadow Weavers stripped me of my power, and I have not the strength. So then why would I even bother helping you? I could have done the shit myself. Should have should have left you in your fucking Pokeball. And I'm just gonna lock that. You have driven out the Shadow Queen's corruption. I feel my power returning. Fuck. That annoying little shit. Oh my god. He was standing to the side. I thought I had two seconds to myself. I hate you. Ignore. You're a piece of shit. I'm not helping you any further. Like, I hate to be a dick, but fuck anybody who plays the game and doesn't actually know how to do it. There's there's a difference between a learning curve and a learning curve for a game that's been out since 2008. Astounding! You freed Sophia Darkseid and ousted Ravik Dreamscape, who dominated the Eclipse Tower for generations. Yeah, yeah, I did do that. Support you however we are able, Spellbinder. Sophia Darkseid would like to teach you about this place. Ooh, this is where the lore gets interesting for like two seconds. Tell me the state of the spiral. I have lost so much time. Well, originally there was an evil death professor who was mourning the loss of his wife, trying to bring her back, uh, and decided he was going to summon a dragon titan. I decided to kill him, and then shortly after that, uh, Morganth kind of popped up, and I've just been following her around the spiral, fucking with her. That's about it. Spellbinder, when you faced Ravik Dreamscape, you surely noticed a unique form of magic that he used in the duel. Yeah, but I've also seen it once before. When the Shadow Queen conquered the Eclipse Tower, she allowed shadow magic to flow in and corrupt the moon magic. Okay. Now the two are forever intertwined in this place. Moon magic is about changing forms, but shadow magic is about rebuilding reality. Ooh, I like that. Shadow magic is dangerous and was forbidden throughout the spiral, but you must learn it if you wish to fight legends. Okay, so I'm basically going to become a, like, international villain, or not villain, uh, ah, oh, what's the word? I, I can't, I, was, I had something, but I can't remember. Ascend the Eclipse Tower again. You will see new threats, but may expand your mind. It is my honor to teach you. I dearly hope you survive. Well, I've come this far. It's not that big of a deal. Also, I don't believe that's the same mouse. I think that's just generic mouse statue. Fuck that guy. He can go get shit on for the next three days trying to figure that out. Also, these are all level 98. I'm 97, so I'm like one away. These are pretty interesting spells just because of the fact that they give you, they basically polymorph you mid spell, do damage, give some sorts of debuffs, but overall they're pretty much useless. Like this might be good for a storm, 460 damage, but then again, you have to have three pips, not three storm pips, three regular pips because this is a moon spell. Uh, is that, I like this one. This one's pretty cool. I like, I like his, uh, his, his little puppy dog face with his tongue sticking out. Uh, is there any that I think are worth it? No, nah, I, I don't, I don't really think that I'm going to grab any of these. But it's whatever. I think I'm going to go do something else for the moment. Fuck this guy. He's a nerd. I hate you. I'm switching realms or some shit. Can't do that. Never mind. All right. No, I keep fizzling.